Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this 3D Vox style title scene. Now, if you're part of the ProMotion Crew community, then you can download this project file. If you're a gold member, then you can also download a bonus composition, which I've included as part of the download. If you're not a member already, then consider joining via the link in the description below. You not only get all of my project files, you also get early access to all the tutorials and a bunch of extras. First, just right click, create a new composition. Now this can be whatever settings you like. I'm just gonna set mine to be 1920 by 1080. So, cause I'm going with this space sort of saying, I found this image here of these stars. And with this sort of position in the background here, what I can actually do is just make it 3D and I can just kind of reposition it slightly here. And what I'm also gonna do is just move it back actually, and then just sort of scale this up. So this is gonna be our nice sort of backdrop. Next, I wanna sort of put the earth, or I've got this image here of earth or whatever it's going to be that you use. But basically with these sort of scenes, I'm trying to match, you know, colors. I'm trying to match the overall style. This is something that I talk a lot about in my animation pro course. In this, I go through a lot more detail and actually how to layer things, how to create all of those colors that sort of match, you know, to create some really interesting stylized animations, like a lot of the stuff that you see used online nowadays, you know, especially in Vox and Wall Street Journal, all those sort of videos. Getting all the right elements is really critical to making your scene really come together. So if you wanna learn more advanced features of art after Effects and create all these different types of animations, then definitely check out my animation pro course. There'll be a link down in the description. If you're more of a beginner, then start with my animation master course. And in that I walk you through the absolute basics of After Effects. Even if you've never used the program before, I walk you through everything you need to know to creating some really cool animations that stand out. I teach you graph, map animations, and lots more different types of animations. I've had hundreds of students go through that particular course and I've had nothing but great feedback about it. So definitely check that one out via the link in the description below. If you're serious about learning After Effects or you're really interested in just learning more about animation, then definitely check out those two courses. So now that I've got this image here, what I'm going to do is just come up here to my ellipse tool and I just wanna basically draw out a rough circle which sort of covers that. It doesn't need to be perfect because I can just adjust this by scaling down on that edge there to sort of get it to fit just right. And so now we've kind of got that sitting over the top. What I can do is also make that 3D. And what I can start to do here is just create a camera. So now with that 3D camera created, what I can do is actually just create a point of interest and a position keyframe and I can start to kind of create a little bit of animation here. So we kind of get something like this. Now I can start to add some little bit of animation into this one. So what I might do is if I come down to the transform properties, I might just kind of create a little bit of a rotation here. Something like this. And then I wanna add in just some other sort of elements to sort of make all of this come together. Now I've just added this image here of a moon and I've just scaled this down because I wanna sort of add this in. So I've used the same steps by just creating a mask over the top. And now I can sort of add this into my scene and I can animate it. So if I scale this down to something like here, I can just kind of create a bit of a position property. So it's closer to the camera and that's why it's moving, you know, a different sort of direction here. But you can kind of create some interesting sort of things here. That sort of movement there is looking quite good. I think I'm ready to sort of start laying out my text. So this is really, you know, the first thing I'm really doing is just trying to get some basics sort of laid out here. So this can be, I just sort of typed out some basic text here. Yours can be whatever you like. And then what I can do with this is just sort of position it down here. So I want it to be in the same position as my uh, earth. So what I'm gonna do is hit P, copy that position keyframe, make this 3D, and then I can also then paste that onto that same position, maybe reposition it slightly. I can bring it closer to the camera or further away really just depends on the look that you're going for. 
And you can also just kind of mess around with the blending mode to sort of get it to sort of sit into your scene. It'll depend on the type of text that you're using, but maybe for this one, I ended up using a difference, just sort of so something like that is looking quite nice. I think now we're ready to add a little bit more sort of aesthetic to the whole thing. So I wanna add some glow effects, you know, really try and get all of this to sit nicely together. So the first thing I did here was I added some brightness and contrast. So with my earth layer selected, you can find all these by just searching for them up here. And I just add a little bit of contrast to my scene here, just sort of really makes that image sort of pop. I then add a bit of a curves and just sort of drag down on the, you know, add a little bit more contrast into it. And then I also added some glow. Now these are the exact settings I've used over here if you want to match. But basically this is what it sort of looks like. Just adds a little bit more depth and interest into our scene. You can also just copy all of these and you can paste them onto that moon layer. So if I take that moon layer, I can also add that same sort of effect to my moon layer, which is just, you know, just kind of makes the whole thing look a lot more seamless and interesting. Something else I also did was I added some animation. Now I, to do that, all you need to do is just come up here to the animation presets, come down to the text, animate in, and you can use any of these basically to make it work. I'm using the random fade in here, it just sort of, creates like the random letters sort of fading in. You can also just right click on these, make them easy ease. That just sort of softens out the whole animation, something like that. Something else I also did is over the top, I added just basically like an adjustment layer and this one I can call effects. And to that, I just added a bunch of different things. The first thing I added was this posterized time. Again, you can add these by just searching for them up here. I set this to about nine. As you know, this is basically just kind of gives it that classic sort of Vox jittery style, slow animation, slow frame rate. And then I added an unsharpened mask, which just sharpens the whole thing. I add a little bit of brightness and contrast to my scene as well as a vignette. And that just helps sort of darken those edges. That just takes that animation to that next level, really just makes the whole thing, you know, pop. The last thing that I did to this was I added, I wanted to add a few more little elements into it to kind of make the whole thing come together. So if I go back to my original composition, I added a bit of a blue tint. So all I did was I created basically like a solid uh, layer. Now this can be sort of like whatever color you want of the tint that you want. So I'm just using like a dark blue here. And then I put that over the top. Now what you can do is if you change the blending mode of that layer to like a screen or something like that, you can sort of really get it to like add a lot of that color into your scene. So that's something that looks quite interesting there. Something else that I also added in with these little sort of rings here that went around the outside as well as these little asteroid images. So the asteroid images are basically just sourced like this image here with these few asteroids and just sort of dropped it into my timeline. And then to these, I basically just kind of created like a mask. So with that sort of image there, what I did is I created a mask that went around it and then I just used the extract tool and that just gets rid of basically the dark part in the background. And then I just sort of positioned it here in 3D space over the top. And that's all that I did. The rest of it already sort of blends with that scene quite nicely. You can move it closer to that image if you want it, you know, to move around less, more of a subtle sort of position, or you can move it far further away. You can also add a bit of, uh, you know, opacity, sort of drag this down to make it, you know, give a bit of depth to your scene. Um, you can really do lots of different things there. The last thing I did was then just add like these circles which sort of went around the outside. They're really simple to do. I just grabbed my ellipse tool, I set the fill to be none. I then just set basically like a stroke color here, maybe make this like five, something like that. And I just sort of draw out a little circle, something like that. I can make this one 3D. And then to this, if I go down to the ellipse path, I can just add under the stroke setting, so I can add a basically like a dashes. If I hit R, I can go to the rotation properties and this is how I made it basically spin, but I just alt click on that stopwatch, 
I just type out time times three, and then that just basically gives me like the rotating ring. Again, you can move this back in 3D space. You can scale this up. You can also change the blending mode to sort of get it to sit into the background. You can do lots of different things there to sort of get the whole scene to sort of really come together. But that's it. It's that sort of simple to kind of create a scene. There's a few elements that you need to really focus on, which is basically trying to create like a color palette and make sure that they're all the same sort of like contrast. Try to find images that were taken at a similar time of day or in the same location, things like that, that will help really blend all these images together. Again, if you wanna learn more about, you know, how to actually layer images together and create animations like this, then check out my Animation Pro course. There'll be a link down in the description. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.